do this review on the Colt throwing knives and the condor dismissals. I've been wanting to do it for some time now, but I kept getting sidetracked. Like my needle nose pliers video and practicing the no reload throw and doing a how to throw no spin spikes for my friend that I just bought spikes for, for her bridal shower gift. And I'm pumped because I started videotaping for this video like a while back. There's several days where I videotaped doing this video and I Finally, it's done, so I'm excited. Anyways, Blade Play contacted me and asked if I want to do a review on some of their products. Two of the things I chose were the throwing cards, which you can see that review up here, and I also chose, chose these Colt throwing knives. Now, if you're interested in the Blade Play website, you could check them out at bladeplay.com. They have everything folders, throwing knives, throwing cards, sliders. I mean, they have everything, so check out their website. I chose these 10 inch double edged Colt throwing knives because I thought they looked pretty sweet. They have this two tone finish. They have the Colt label on them. If you don't know what Colt is, it's a firearms manufacturer since apparently 1836. They have this rubberized handle, which I was really curious how well they did for throwing knives because I don't have any throwing knives with rubber handles. So I decided to try it out. First off with the Colt throwing knives, they came sharp. I would say with any knife thrower, and you could ask, they would prefer the throwing knives to not be sharp because you're handling them, you know, you're holding them from the blade. What I did with these to make sure I was safe was that I dueled the edges. And if you want to figure out how I did that, you could check out this video in which I dueled the edges on my throwing cards and my send down shuriken for safety. Secondly, when I first threw these, I actually liked the rubber handles because when they hit the target, it dampened that clang sound that I hate. And they felt comfortable to hold, it was, it was pretty good, until the, the knife slipped out of the handle. The glue they used to glue the knife to the handle doesn't work because all three knives slipped out of the handle. And I would say that's a big safety issue. When you're throwing and the handle stays in your hand and your knife just flies, I was just like, oh, thank God I'd have like a dog over there. Because I know where my knives are gonna go. I know if my dogs are right there, I could tell them to leave. I first tried to glue them back on with super glue. Then I decided to tie paracord to the, the end hole. Then I tried plastic cable ties, and I think because they were so tight that they just snapped off. And the last thing that I tried, which seems to be working right now, is weaving twine through the holes. The Colt throwing knife just got rid of the handle and made this a solid handle that you could hold without any, you know, handle to come off. It would make a better knife. So that's, that's my little spiel about Colt. Condor dismissals. These are 12 inch condors that were sent to me by Joe Flowers. He is the designer of the dismissals. And if you want to learn more about condor, you should check out their website. They sell swords, machetes, survival tools, everything that the outdoorsmen would want. And they sell throwing knives. They have a selection of half spin throwing knives. I saw a scepter throwing knife. There's a lot of knife throwers out there that buy this set as they're sometimes their first set. In Ryan Muma's no reload video, he actually uses the condors for his no reload throw. My friend of Viper's videos, his name's Mark, he does a video throwing these in Minnesota. He says out of all the throwing knives he has, the only ones that will stick in sub-zero temperatures in his hardwood log rounds are his flying steel knives and the condors. And he approves highly of this knife because it's an inexpensive quality import that you can get. Not only does Mark like these for throwing in very cold temperatures, he also took one of his condors, he modified it so it would be a rope dart. It's pretty amazing. He cut off the ends, he attached a double swivel ring to it, and it works great for him as a rope dart. Joe Flowers sent me a little blurb about the condor dismissals, and I'm just gonna read it off, so listen up. The bevels at the point are designed to be touched up on all four flats of the file. The throwing knives are hardened to bend rather than break and can be bent back to true right away. The 12 inch dismissal is a heavyweight throwing knife that features five millimeter thick 1075 high carbon steel and has an epoxy black powder coat. It's made of carbon steel so it may rust so you have to wipe it down and coat it with oil every now and then. It's great if a knife is going to bend rather than break because Breaking, you can't you can't save that. For a bend though, all you have to do is grind it back down to shape or bend it back. And you got a lot of burrs on it. If anything, it it does bend just as he says. So it 
bents in places, but no metal shards. And it's starting to get a little scratched up, but that's okay. I, it's, it's to be expected. I just abuse my knives. So here you go. Here's my real-time review of the Condor Dismissals and the Colt Throwing Knives. 